Arsenal Academy wonder kid, Cheeto Obi Martin, is going to be leaving the club. We've already had Ro Walters leave this window. We've already had uh, uh, Drewsbury leave also to Brighton. Does Arsenal have an issue? And is it a Mikel Arteta issue? Is it an academy issue? Or is it just we are being so competitive that we don't have opportunities to give game times to the likes of uh, teenagers at this moment in time? Think about it. Manchester United last season gave the most minutes to teenagers. Second was the Premier League title hold- winners in Manchester City. I'm going to show you guys uh, this graphic right now. But before we go any further, if you guys don't know, the reason for this whole video is because Cheeto Obi Martin is going to be leaving Arsenal. This is an academy youngster, a Dutch academy youngster who is highly, highly, highly rated. Now, if you guys don't know how highly he's rated, this is a man who in one game versus... Uh, uh, vers- uh, uh, versus a team last season scored seven goals and in another game versus West Ham I think he scored another five so in a total of two games he's scoring 12 goals like that a record season also for an Arsenal Academy player but Arsenal have done everything they could and it's just been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano an hour ago that he will be leaving Arsenal Football Club yes and if you guys don't know who I'm talking about I'm going to show you guys right now Arsenal are con- uh, considered Chibo Obi Martin gone despite despite big proposals from Arsenal he's leaving the club he visited Manchester United and they're pushing for him to sign as Bayern Newcastle Monaco and Frankfurt also are looking at Chido Obi Martin Man City of course are not involved in the Chido Obi Martin race at this moment in time now the reason why people are really triggered and upset is because some people are blaming Mikel Arteta they're saying Mikel Arteta doesn't give kids opportunities he doesn't give academy kids especially opportunities and they're saying that that is why that is why most of these guys are 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 leaving and in my opinion it's in whichever way you put it academy players at this moment in time that are leaving like the Omari Hutchinson's and others are going to look at this and they're going to say to themselves Arteta is the reason why some people are going to blame the manager some people are going to blame the club and this is one of the things that people are looking at the teenagers in that are that are playing that are playing so you have teenagers minutes in the Premier League Manchester United, number one, giving almost 3,000 plus minutes. When you think about it, Garnacho and Kobe Mainu probably make up most of it. Then you have Manchester City, Aston Villa, Liverpool, Spurs, and then Arsenal all the way down to sixth with 14 minutes given to academy players. And some of that being in blowouts, being given to the likes of, uh, of, of Ethan Nawari and stuff. Honestly... I don't know what people expect. Like you got my boy Gully here saying, yo, is Arteta killing Hell End? What the F? Is Arteta killing Hell End? I think that's I think that's the wrong statement. I think the statement is in order to compete, can you really give all these minutes to these academy players? I don't know how Man City even got six hundred and 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 uh ninety-eight minutes. Was that all was that all Rico uh, Rico Williams and and uh what's it called? Um that Bobby guy, I forget his name. Uh, Oscar Bob, Oscar Bob, was that all where that those minutes came from? And also, David Onstein reported that he could be headed to Manchester United, and this is where I really got slightly triggered because it's like he doesn't view Arsenal's pathway as clear, but he just joined a team that signed Rasmus Hoyland and uh, Zerski. So those are two young strikers also that are going to most likely be blocking his pathway to the Manchester United first team, if I'm not mistaken. Man United are, of course, exploring the deal. Uh, David Ronson says Man United are, of course, exploring a deal to sign Cheeto Obi Martin at Arsenal after terms expire. Arsenal have felt that they've offered a fair offer for the young striker deciding to move on. He's 16-year-old. He visited the Manchester United uh uh, grounds earlier this week and discussing early stages to see offers nothing yet with Manchester you know, not Man City so nothing with Man City all just Manchester United now here's my thing about Cheeto I am not going to gaslight you guys or 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 try to say anything negative about the kid the kid is amazing he is one of the young uh, uh, young up-and-coming academy players 
uh, and he is absolutely balling out for Arsenal. There was games where he scored five goals, four goals on a regular basis, just scoring ridiculous amount of goals. And Manchester United are getting themselves one hell of a player. But it, that's if he goes to Manchester United, as it's not confirmed that he will end up at Man United. He could still end up going abroad or even to uh, another club, but he will not be staying at Arsenal. That is what is confirmed. And the thing that people are saying is, is there an Arsenal Academy issue? Is there an issue with the Arsenal Academy and why we are not bringing too many players through to the first team? Now, first thing I want to say to you guys is, it's not every year that you have a player break through and, and absolutely smash it in the first team. Also, not every 16-year-old is ready to be playing at the top level of football. Not everyone is the Yamil Lamal or, or like a Jack Grealish performing at a young age like that. Sometimes players, it takes a little bit of while to get them up to the uh, up to the level to play in the first team. We've had youngsters in the team before, and they've kind of grown up, and they're now part of the first team, like Bukayo Saka. You have Reese Nelson, you have Eddie Nketia and and Emil Smith Rowe, but they're all probably going to be sold in the coming in the coming weeks and months. So we're probably going to get a new batch of youngsters that are going to be in the fringes, like. Uh, like uh, what do you call it, Lewis Skelly and uh, Roy Walters, who are also going to be going with Arsenal to uh, the U.S. tour in the coming days. I am not going to lose sleep over this uh, signing uh, going uh, going. I mean, uh, Chido Obi Martin leaving Arsenal. What I am going to be interested in seeing is how we fix this and how we make sure the academy is not somewhere where players are poached as they get close to close to the age where they where they're going to be able to be signing permanent deals and what has happened is because transfer fees has gotten so ridiculous in today's market transfer fees are just so ridiculous it means more teams are developing in youth you look at real madrid developing in youth you look at chelsea developing in youth you see manchester united developing in youth you see even man city developing in youth more teams are going for the signings, the younger players, rather than going and getting the full-blown, um, ready-made players because those players cost too much now. Football transfer fees has gone so crazy that people are trying to find new ways of increasing their talent value. And one way of doing it is poaching other clubs, uh, young academy graduates. For example, Chelsea just lost a player to Liverpool earlier in this window. You also had Chelsea lose a player to Man City earlier in this window. Young academy players going to the, to other teams. We've seen it with us losing a player to Brighton. So this is the way that it's going to happen going forward. People are not only going to try to do transfers, but they're going to try to get those players that are just close to being around the first team from other teams, bring them into their team, and hopefully try to get them a better pathway to the first team. So... It is, it is something that's going to happen. It's going to be a little bit more common. You shouldn't be panicked or worrying too much. But Manchester United, if he does sign for Manchester United, Chido Obi-Martin will, I have no doubt in my mind, he will be an absolute baller eventually. And he's going to get an opportunity to play at the highest level at some point. But for now, it is an Arsenal miss. And it is it is a big, it is a big, big benefit to, to uh, Manchester, Manchester United. One thing we need to say, though, is... Our academy needs to be revamped, and we need more quality in the academy. At the, if 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 we're gonna if we're gonna be honest, I haven't seen too many players that I could say in the academy that are as good as this guy. But at least we still have Lewis Skelly, we still have uh, Ethan Nawari, and that we still have a bright future from some of those youngsters that that can make it right now. So don't lose no sleep, don't panic, and if you're gonna blame Mikel Arteta. You can, and you can say that he can do a better job in implementing the academy players. But I will leave you with this thought. What is more important? Giving a teenager a couple minutes at the end of a game or securing the three points and just moving on to the next game when you're in the middle of a title race? We're so hungry for titles, uh, silverware that we might be neglecting some of these academy players. And I understand that. I really do. Because you're not going to be playing a guy in a in a three one uh, with a, with a three one lead with 20 minutes left. It just doesn't make sense sometimes. You might you might as well just see out the game, and maybe give him a couple minutes at the end of the game. But yeah, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. 
Um, I'll try to respond to as many of your comments as possible. But yeah, that's just my quick thoughts on the whole Cheeto Obi Martin situation. Peace.